This week on The Suffer Club, we talk to the most important person at the Winter Short Track Series. I try to practice what I preach, and we save the best race for last. So I am here with the people that really make the Winter Short Track Series work. This is Heather, and Heather makes amazing food, okay? So like right now, she is dipping out some amazing taco soup. Last week, she had Reese, what are they, peanut butter? Reese's peanut butter cup Reese's brownies. Reese's peanut butter cup brownies, and they were amazing. So Heather, everyone at the, at the Winter Short Track Series is so grateful for you. Thank you, Thank you. for all you do. And Heather is just one of the amazing people here at the Winter Short Track Series that really make it happen. Neil and the Start to Finish team, thank you so much for putting on an amazing series. I really wished it was a longer series because it was just that much fun. We met so many amazing riders. And can we just talk about how many bike shops showed up and showed their support? Look, shop local, buy local, support your local bike shop. I promise you, Amazon does not care about the Charlotte bike scene, but these guys do. That's all I'm going to say about that. Let's get back to the racing. The women's category has been outstanding. These ladies have battled it out week after week. And can I just say, these women are not afraid of the pro line. Even in these wet conditions, so many ladies attack the pro line. Bravo, ladies. And that heckle monkey was out in full force, but it did not bother Miss Felicia Marion as she took home the victory in week five of the expert women's category. At the Suffer Club, we promote this one statement. I will be happy with the results I get from the effort that I put in. That sounds like a good statement until you have to walk it out. Will I really be happy with the results I get if I give it everything? Well, today we're gonna find out. My legs are feeling good, but everything is about to change. See, the difficult part of that statement is, no matter what the cards are dealt, you have to play them. It's not that I'll be happy with the results when everything goes perfect. It's when everything goes wrong. Will I still be happy if I give it everything and come in 20th? I crashed, and because of my crash, I have a puncture in my tire. I ran back to the pits as fast as I could to pump up the tire, but about a half lap in, the tire went flat again. So I run another half of a lap, and at the top of the pro line, Tina is waiting for me with her bike. I yanked off her number, held my number, stuffed my number in my jersey, and raced off as fast as I could, trying to make up all the lost time. See, as crappy as Sunday was, I can still be happy with the results because I gave it everything I had. I left nothing on the table. I crashed. I flatted, I ran, I flatted, I changed bikes, and I finished. And for that, I am proud of myself. So if you like these videos, please subscribe. You can turn the bell on to get notifications. But like I said at the beginning, we saved the best for last. The Expert Men and Super Sport Men were the last races of the 2019 Winter Short Track Series. This is Daniel and Sean in the super sport category. And these guys stayed so close the entire race. Here are their lap times. And bravo to Daniel for taking the men's super sport win. The men's expert class is an extremely competitive and very tight field. These guys turn out consistent 4-0 laps no matter what conditions. And even last week, we had a few three-minute laps. That is just crazy. On lap four, Roddy Burgess burns another match and starts to spread out the field. But that's when it gets interesting. When they come back around for lap five, the field has been inverted, and it looks like Bobby Bryson has hit the dirt. But wow, what happens next is bonkers. Bobby Bryson was leading on the last lap. He crashed during this race, and it's gonna come down to between him, Phillip, Chris, and another guy from the free fly. 
free fly has three guys on on the front so we'll see what happens and just like that bobby bryson fights back from the dirt to the top of the podium and mr philip ford taking second place and levi porter rounding out third that's two free fly endurance coaching riders on the podium bravo guys philip just took second in the expert category these three guys put in a massive effort and uh seriously this is a huge accomplishment for the team today yeah we're really happy it's been a great season it's a great series so far and honestly we're really looking forward to 2019. levi is an endurance racer a six hour four hour six hour kind of guy this hour. is this is not <laughs> his cup of tea and you go look at his lap times and his results from the last five races faster and faster and faster and he's finally on the box this week a huge congratulations to bobby bryson for taking the number one today and also for taking the number one in the series congratulations sir so I can't say enough good things about start to finish and the winter short track series here at Renaissance Park. For everybody who came out and supported, all the bike shops, all the families, all the clubs that came out. Seriously, it was a great year and we will see y'all again next year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, give it a share. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Hey, and if you've got an event that you would like covered, reach out to us. We always like new adventures. We have some really exciting things coming up very soon. So until then, adios.